In case you haven't heard, we have a leaked report that has finally exposed the true identity of the illegal migrants on small boats. Hello everybody, welcome back to the show. Um, some of you might have already heard on social media of the last day or two about what's been going on. There's small boats coming to Dover and across Kent. They come from France. They get to these uh, dinghy small boats and they fill them up and it's apparently normal. Everything's fine. No one's doing anything about it. We have politicians coming on TV saying, this is a big problem. We have to sort it out. Yet, nothing's been done really to sort it out. Now, there's a leaked report that came out yesterday. Some of you guys might have already seen, but I'm going to analyze the whole situation for you guys. That showed the true identity, almost half, almost half of uh, the migrants that are coming who claim to be asylum seekers and refugees from you know, conflict zones. Four out of ten, so almost half, are from Albania that hasn't had any conflict since 1997. And that was the last um, civil conflict that they actually had, let alone international conflict. So uh, four out of ten, so almost half of um, the people you see, the migrants who come and they self-identify as an asylum seeker and refugee, uh, happen to actually be economic migrants from Albania. You wonder why? Well, mainly because a real refugee or a real asylum seeker doesn't necessarily want to come to prison. They just want to leave the conflict zone. The priority is to save their lives and go to a neighboring country or a camp or whatever. So if you are making that much of an effort to come all the way from across the continent to travel and get to even France, I know it's not a perfect country, but it's still pretty safe, except for Paris. Um, if, you can, if you don't want to get mugged, then don't stay in Paris. Um, but if you are making that much of effort and you're giving all this money to the smugglers to bring you here, then you are an economic migrant. Now, there's nothing wrong with being an economic migrant, but economic migrants need to go through the legal routes to come to Great Britain. You can't just skip the queue. It makes absolutely no sense. It's not fair. Now, the other problem is Albania is a NATO member, is a pretty safe country, is pretty protected and secured by the rest of the NATO members. So if anything happens there, it's not like Ukraine, it's not even like Afghanistan, that, you know, they're not part of NATO and they're not going to be you know, completely supported, right? Supported. Um, so we know that it, there's no priority for them to escape. Now, everybody, there are so many people across the world in certain countries who don't have a good life. But it doesn't really mean that if they skip the queue, if they uh, come through illegal routes, and if they come here, for example, doesn't mean they're going to fix their life. You think they think that, but actually, genuinely speaking, put aside those who are actually criminals who get here illegally, put aside those who want to disrupt the system. Even if someone is just an economic migrant, you can't integrate properly. You can't really uh, get into the system properly and get into society. And you're going to cause trouble for yourself, for neighbors, for everybody across the country. Now, what's going on here? So the gangs who are actually providing these inflatable boats, they get them from China. Obviously, they get it from China because it's cheaper. Now, Chinese factories make them, they transport them to northern France, and then they get on the boats and they come here. Now, two of them, uh, codenamed Dragon and Lotus, brilliant, are customizing the boats by asking Chinese companies to make them bigger so that more migrants can be can be squeezed on board. Now, this is despite Boris Johnson's government saying we're going to do a crackdown. This leak came from the, uh, the intelligence uh, community. So they've already said, the, the military intelligence uh, gathering operation said that, well, the, the resources don't really exist. It's currently limited. And the, the action that they want to take by a lack of resources. So that's not a good thing. Now, the analysis still do not have a complete picture of uh, the gang's activities because the French authorities are failing to tell them when they are successfully stopping the crossing attempts. So the French are not cooperating. We don't really have a bigger picture knowing exactly what's going on. China is helping uh, the smugglers because it's all about money. They, they make their money and they don't really care, do they? And who's suffering? You, me, all of, all of us here. Because we don't really have a say. Well, we do have a say now. We want to make um, a platform for ourselves to have a say. This is why I've been, over the last obviously few years, doing this channel, initially talking about the Brexit stuff and getting that sorted and everything else. Every movement that we 
either create or get behind. We try to hard and work hard to get it done. And now we're going to get Brexit done properly. We're also going to get Britain done properly. That sounds weird. We're going to save Britain and the anti-globalist movement that we are creating, which we're going to go around the country. We're going to start basically on a grassroots level with you guys. It's going to be called Build Back Britain against the, the World Economic Forum's slogans. Uh, build back better you can actually get your merchandise in the description if you can get one of these t-shirts as well but i'm going to announce the dates very soon uh, for the events around this wonderful land of opportunity well that's america land of hope and glory that's where we are and um, we're going to come back in half an hour we're going to tell you about what's going on in scotland the smp minions have been wasting your money and all taxpayers money on nonsensical projects subscribe to the channel I'm Maya Tusi and we are the media.